traders and welcome to tradingwithbill.com. It is a Monday, August 14th, 2017. Traders, great to be with you. Brand new trading week. Excited to be back at the trading station at the desk looking at charts, figuring out what the heck is going on. I like to I like the looks of that uh Dolly Yen. Got a little bit of dollar strength going there. We'll take a look at that in just a second. Let us take a look at the news and what's coming out today very low day and data today typically on a monday we don't get a lot got a little bit here and there let's take a look okay so already we had uh retail sales out of new zealand and it was a good number and japan had gdp um year on year quarter on quarter both good numbers today out of japan uh Later, or just, well, actually, uh, very shortly, we're going to have China uh, fixed asset investment. And then we have industrial production year on year uh, coming out out of China all within the next 20 minutes. So keep an eye on that. Of course, always keep an eye on your commodity pairs when we see that coming around. As we get further into our trading day... Um, China also has new loans coming out tentative today looks like it's gonna be about the London open somewhere in there we're looking to see that come out and that's about it my friends nothing going on uh, tomorrow in Asia we have the Aussie RBA um, meeting minutes coming out and also Italy is on a holiday tomorrow so keep remember that and that's about it. Yeah, pretty weak day today as far as data goes. Let's see what happened. Uh, S&P futures up 0.30%. NASDAQ up 0.41%. Dow 30 up 0.07%. S&P VIX negative 3.30%. Uh, uh, Nikkei 225 negative 0.90%, and the DAX is negative 0.03%, with the dollar index up 0.07%. And I'm sorry, 0.01%, and the euro index is up 0.07%. That's what's going on there. Let's take a look at uh, some of our commodities here. Uh, gold is negative 0.07%, still below that 1300 level, but hovering at 1293 as we speak. Uh, crude WTI is at 4884. However, Brent still remains above the $50 mark at 51.99. Uh, U.S. coffee is up 1.05%. So that's what's going on. Let's take a look at the charts today. I just want to take a peek here at this uh, dollar yen. You know, we haven't seen this in a while, right? A nice move. It's taking out the high um, left of current price, taking out that high on that wick, and it's coming up. It's stalling here. Could be because of the time. You know, Asia has been up for several hours now so we're in this like asia lull um at the moment so we're just hanging out there i didn't tell you it is a beautiful day in pattaya thailand bright blue sunny skies warm absolutely gorgeous today absolutely gorgeous beautiful sunrise this morning i did see it and uh really nice uh thailand's doing great Okay, um, so what are we going to do here? Well, you know, I, I don't trade this very often. I do, but not very often. So I'm looking for this to probably come up to this 200. And I would expect that we're going to get a little drop here at the 200. So let's see if we can fight this up. We really don't have angle and separation. However, we do have the 5 right below price. And the um, 20 and the 55 are entangled there. We'd like to see some angle and separation there to continue the upside. So what's our move for the day? And I do apologize. I I lost my charts. I should say I went to put my charts on and like nothing happened. And I lost them and I got them back. So I luckily I saved a template. Um, and we're back on and we're okay. But a lot of my charts have no nothing on them uh, due to that as well as from what we did on Friday. So this is my euro dollar trade for today and you know on a monday we always take a look at the euro so this is sideways you know see i wanted to get these time lines out of there but i can't get rid of them i don't know what the problem is but anyhow um so i want to i want to sell this right i want to sell the euro and we're going to get in at 1.1790 so i already have a limit order in and um we're just you know if it gets to 17.9 i'm going to trigger in and see what see what we can do 
and we'll take this to the down. So I want to take it all the way down to 1710. There we go. Yeah, um, take it all the way down to 1710 and see if we can do that. Now, I did put a, a red diamond next to the 200. And when you see that on my charts, that's just a visual to me. Hey, listen, keep an eye on what's going on, you know, because I look at so much during the day and I'm doing a lot of different things, options, Forex. But, you know, I'm really in Forex during the daytime in Thailand, my time. We don't get into the options thing till, till about London lunch just after that, which is about 5, 6 o'clock p.m. my time. So we got a, a heavy heavy here at the 200. We could see that price has reacted. So we're going to watch this when this comes out. But we, by the time we get to the 200, we're going to be in profit, right? We're going to be probably um, 12 or 13 pips in profit. That's not a lot. <laughs> that is not a lot. So we're just going to uh, see what we can do here. And we're probably just going to end up having to ride out that bounce. Because you're not going to be able to put a break even there. So we're going to have to break through this 200 without um, a stop in place. It's okay. We'll do it. We will do it. Okay, that's what's going on in the euro. We'll take a look at the pound. The pound. And um, let's see what's going on with the pound. Not much. You know, this this pair has really been in a sideways move here. And I'm looking for this to come to the downside, right? just want to sell this. I, I don't see this going up. I see a lot of weakness here. You know, uh, close of Friday into today I just see a lot of weakness here so I'm not I'm not really um, looking for this to pop up it could and then you just got to worry about the um, well you know that you know that 3050 area you'd have to watch out for which is going to be up here you really don't want to see your moving averages get underneath price and get angle and separation right so we'll watch it but you know my 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 move on this is I'm absolutely bearish on this absolutely bearish see this is an old template and now I got stuff on my charts I have no idea what it was so we'll get rid of it you know what? why don't I just get rid of everything that sounds like a better idea right yeah just remove everything there we go all right so that's the pound yeah sorry I'm doing chart maintenance while I'm talking to you but like I said I just lost my charts right before I was doing this oh look at this Aussie 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 well it's below 80 and that's a good thing. Again, well, you know, if you look at this chart right away, you know, you're going to say, well, this is long. Well, I have to agree with you, but the trend is to the downside. And the reason why I think this can head back up is because of this angle and separation and the exponential moving averages. A lot of angle and separation here to the upside. My bias, though, is bearish. I don't want to buy this. Do not want to buy this. This, to me, just looks like this is going to hit a level and it's going to dump like a rock. So I don't want to buy this. If you take a look at this chart, my friends, this is a bearish chart, right? Even if you took it from here, right? Anyhow, to the downside. Don't do anything on this um, Aussie pair. I'm looking to take it to the downside. We'll see what happens. All right, that was a waste of time. Oh, my goodness. Let's see what else we got. Nothing at the moment. Uh, just take a peek at the CAD. Let's take a peek at the CAD real quick. Here's the CAD to the downside. And uh, just watch it, right? This is really, um, you know, this to me looks like a bearish move here. And this to me looks like this is just going to be, this is a fib. And this is going to probably head back to the upside. That's my take on it. But again, very big commodity pair. See what kind of numbers come out today. Keep it on the CAD. All right, my friends. That does it for me on a Monday. Great day. Good to be back in my charts. Good to be back at the trading station. Good to be in it. It's just a great thing. Traders, have a great day. Always remember to trade smart and don't trade hard. Catch you next time. See you in the morning. Take care now. Bye-bye.